Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to our NIBS Home School. My dear students, hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am Shantar Rahman, Assistant Teacher of National Indian English Version School. Today I am going to take Elementary Science class for the student of class 4 and our today's class topic is chapter 12, broad question answer and short question answer. And our lecture number 14 and this is our annual term lesson. Our Chapter 12's name is Information in Our Life. In our previous class, we discussed this chapter. Now, we will uh, discuss short question answer for at first. Let's start our class. Information in Our Life. Chapter 12. In this uh, short question, you get three short questions. First one is, we get a lot of information every day. Explain four steps for a wise use of information. Answer. ICT makes our life easy and is used in many ways in the fields of business, education, medical and agriculture services. Question number two. During collection, collecting information, we should keep a record. Explain how we can store information. Answer. When sharing the information with someone, we should pay attention to what we want to say and how we can give clear explanation to our friends. So, here is the question answer. When we sharing the information with someone, we should pay attention to what we want to say and how we can give clear explanation to our friends. And question number three, give four examples of sources for collecting information. Answer. We must find the ways and sources that are best suited to the information we need. There are different sources of information such as number one, people, number two, newspaper, number three, books and number four, internet. So, after discussing this question answer, we can say that we can get information from different sources and the main sources are newspaper, television, people and books or and also internet. From this way, we can collect information. Now, we discuss broad question answer. Broad question number one. We get a lot of information every day. Explain four steps for a wise use of information. That means you have to explain how can we uh, wisely use information in our daily life. Answer. The proper use of information includes the activities like collecting, storing and sharing information. The following steps show a wise use of information. In this way, we can use information wisely in our daily life. Number one, deciding what types of information we need. We may need different types of information at one time or another. News, weather, events, ideas or people's experiences are examples of information. So, what are the uh, example of information like uh, news we want to collect the news from uh, newspaper or uh, media weather information uh, any cricket or football events information or any kind of ideas like our uh, cooking ideas like our baking ideas or uh, scientific ideas like this finding number two finding the ways and sources for collecting information we must find the ways and sources that are best suited to the information we need. There are different sources of information such as people, newspaper, books, the internet, TV and radio. Now number three, collecting information. Necessary information should be collected with the best ways and sources we found. During collecting the information, we should keep a record. Number four, sharing the information before sharing information we have to organize the information on the exercise book or papers based on our recording we 
should pay attention to what we want to say and how we can give clear explanations to our friends now broad question answer 2 in this uh, question answer 1 we discuss how can we use information wisely in our daily life we have to follow four steps like deciding what types of information we need number two finding the ways and sources for collecting information we have to select from which uh, source we will collect the information number three collecting information um, then we should collect information and then sharing the information and after collecting the information we should share the information with other people now broad question answer two during collecting information we should keep a record explain how we can store information we only not only we collect the information we have to store this information because if we do not store this information after few days we will forget or um, when another year comes or another generation comes they did not get the proper information about um, about these things so we have to store this information properly answer in the ancient time people preserved information by drawing pictures on the cave wall or lithograph after the invention of writing system people wrote down information because of the invention of printing press people began to preserve information by printing them on books at present people are using camera tape recorders video recorders pen drive cd dvd memory card etc for preserving the information to preserve the information at first we have to collect it from the reliable source and in uh, and in the best way then we can preserve the information by writing on notebook or papers again information can be preserved also by using various information technologies like camera cd dvd etc so at first we have to collect the information and we have to store this information for our future work or our future generation and where we uh, preserve the information we will preserve the information after uh, writing the papers or books or diary and also save this information in camera cd or dvd and other uh, pen drives or other places so my dear students i hope you understand our today's class and homework for the next week is homework number 11 short question answer 1 2 and 3 this is your homework for the next week my dear students i hope you will uh, stay at your home uh, and do the um, do the homework properly and prepare yourself for the annual exam till then keep well assalamu alaikum